Hi everyone, welcome to Housework Hangover and this video is all about laundry hacks and tips that you haven't seen in other videos, I promise. I've been collecting these tips for some time now and it has taken a lot of effort and time to make this video guys. So please do subscribe and like my video and show that kind of motivation and encouragement to new tubers like me. So let's get started and welcome to my laundry room. I know you can see a shoe rack there. I couldn't fit it anywhere and it fits perfectly here. So let's get started with the tips. First tip would be to start with a clean and tidy washing machine. I use bleach to clean it. In case you need a detailed video, please let me know. But you, a clean washing machine definitely brings out clean clothes and that's the basic idea behind cleaning. I'm just doing a surface cleaning here but if you need a detailed video, I'm happy to do that for you. I do a cleanup on the drum inside and also the rims and the borders. Everything is so clean perfectly. I also do I also do soak the drum in the water for some time and it takes about like one two hours for cleaning because it also needs resting in between and then I come back and clean the rest and that's how I do it. But let me know if you need to know it. That's the bleach that I use. So my second tip is always separating clothes based on texture of the clothes, not by colors. Like sweaters, fleece materials, they have different textures and they need a different kind of washing settings. On a regular basis where we use regular clothes, we use you know regular settings which is not appropriate for all types of clothes. Now for instance, take socks here. I'm doing a separate washing because I collect socks for the whole week and wash them separately. I do not mix with them, mix, uh, sorry, I do not mix them with the regular clothing. Now here I put a bag in my laundry basket and I collect all my inners there and then I do a separate washing because they need a hot water setting and then they need less detergent, you know what I mean. So that's the kind of washing that we need. So I'm putting in here regular clothes but I also separate blankets, pillows, I separate towels, they need separate wash and as I just said inners, blankets and pillows, they need heavy wash, they need hot water but wherein it comes to regular clothing, we don't use hot water, we always use cold water for them and then I'm using some detergent and then I start the washing machine segregating and separating clothes will help us to dedicate washing settings accordingly Towels are delicate, they need vinegar than fabric conditioner, you know, when we do a rinse cycle and that's why I like to separate them. So this is my washing machine and this is how I use the settings on washing machine. I always tend to use cold setting. It saves power, it saves color, it saves texture and your clothes will look new as well. And then I start. This tip is for doormats and I've also done myself. I'm not only saying that I've seen others doing it, I've done myself. I always used to take a bucket, put detergent, put some water and then I used to soak these dirty clothing which is doormats and all of that and after one hour or so I used to transfer them to washing machine. Just to save power, I understand that. But this tip is mainly is a lifesaver guys because this can be done in washing machine without using power and also saving a lot of money. So this tape, what I do is I just put in the doormats, put in detergent, I run washing machine for maybe a minute or so, I just check if the water is filled in and the detergent is mixed. So I leave it washing machine, I started with four green dots if you see, now it has come down to three. So now I pause the washing machine. And then I switch the main so that it is there's no power coming to the washing machine it's absolutely idle I leave it for an hour or two I come back and then I start the washing machine I choose the regular settings that I had before and then I'll start where I stopped so I'm starting here choosing the settings cold water water level high and coming to spin slow and if you remember, I had three dots when I paused last time and I have four now. So I'll bring back it to three because I don't want to waste power. I want to start where I stopped. And that's it. This, this is how you soak your clothes 
this is how you save power and you're still giving a good wash all right let me know guys how it works for you and this step is for clothes that color bleed or too delicate to be washed in a washing machine we definitely need a need to hand wash them to store the look to store the shape and to store the color of course so this tip is mainly for the clothes that we don't wear on a regular basis like jeans or jackets like sarees but to sarees party wears we don't wear them on a regular basis and they don't get dirty and as they are occasional wear wear them till you think that they will be dirty like two three wears probably and then you can wash them and they're ready to be worn again also dry cleaning is a good option because if they are expensive you don't want to hand wash and ruin them and this next step is adding vinegar in the rinse cycle to remove stinky smell it also makes your clothes very soft and skin friendly i usually use it for my kids because store bought fabric conditioners have those kind of chemicals that i don't like to use it for kids and babies and also i use uh, vinegar for inners uh, which is really excellent for clothes like formals where we do not want to you know have heavy wrinkles wash them on a delicate setting so when I choose delicate, it automatically comes to short wash and then I use cold water and spin could be either slow or hold because we always want to air dry them and this is how we remove wrinkles on the formal clothing. When drying clothes, we usually have these peg marks left on the clothes after they dry. So the tip is here to use hangers. It also saves space and it also avoids those clips mark. And it's a really good tip guys, uh, check it out. And this tip is especially for sensitive skin who have laundry allergies or in general. So do not wash clothes inside out as they will be in direct contact with the detergent. I usually do it for my kid clothing and that's what I'm showing in the video here. My kids clothing I always do uh, inside, I don't do inside out washing. And um, while drying you can definitely dry them inside out because it dries better. And uh, always check pockets the formal pants even kids clothing I always check pockets because they leave tissues they use it and then the whole uh, cycle the washing cycle gets ruined with all the tissues pieces all over the clothing and this tip is for easy ironing uh, for formals because we always put some steam or water and then we iron it but if you want to ease out those wrinkles use fabric conditioner that eases out and it's clearly mentioned on the fabric conditioner that it eases out the wrinkles. This tip is for dark colors, especially black colors. Oh my God. Take a shirt, take it, take it, take a pant or take any black color. You will always find after drying clothes that you will have some lint or dust or some kind of white particles left on the shirts. And it looks so unattractive when you press the clothing and you wear it. So after washing, what you could do is just spread it out and use this lint roller that I'm showing in the video and just roll it on the shirt. So what it does is it removes all the lint and the dust from the black color and then we can just tear it and dispose it off. But it is, it leaves the clothing very new, it looks so good and you're good to press the clothing and wear it. And this is how it looks, it attracted so much dust. And look at the shirt now, it looks absolutely new. It has no lint, it has no dust all over the shirt. This lint roller is available in the laundry section in the grocery stores or in any supermarkets. It's easily available. And uh, there are instances when we are in rush and we don't have to time out, when we don't take time or we don't have time basically to you know ease out these wrinkles which are very light. So for those light wrinkles, what we could do is use a hair dryer as shown in the video and uh, have your vacuum carpet, that's how you do it. And this eases out the light wrinkles on the shirt and it's good to be worn. I've tried this on myself, I've done it so many times, even after wearing I do it. And it eases out just because of the heat setting that we use on the hair dryer. And it uh, totally eases out those light wrinkles and it's good to be worn guys, try it out. Look at the shirt now, it has eased out those wrinkles. I can see that there are heavy wrinkles because this is a heavy wrinkle shirt. And uh, always check washing instructions on the clothing item and follow them because that's how they should be washed. 
we cannot choose our own settings and ruin the clothing uh, for better and for the clothes to long last and to look new this is what we should be doing and uh, I always check whether whatever the clothing is this is what I use so these were my tips and hacks for laundry section for this video guys I have a lot of ideas and for the whole house please subscribe and like my videos so that I can come up with new ideas and new videos for you also please let me know what tips and hacks you have for me so that I also could use them in my daily life and uh, thank you for watching guys and you have a lovely day and I hope your day brings a lot of joy and happiness to you also please please come back and watch my videos and also let me know if you have any suggestions for me